gives life He takes it away He is the potter and I And across o'er the sea I know a sunrise Will be waiting for me Oh, what a sunrise It's going the storm clouds rolled away I hear the sounds of angels singing on a homecoming day Time the last goodbye face a smile though tears dim their eyes death will take utterly fall, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. This is the word of God. Our opening song is Great is Thy Faithfulness. We'll utilize one stanza and then we'll have the opening prayer. Great is thy faithfulness, O God my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not, thy compassion they fail not. As thou wast been, thou forever wilt be. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness. 
in prayer. Alicia Francis. Okay. Let us pray. Great God and Father of the universe, who art in heaven, hallowed be your holy name. We are giving you thanks for life. We are giving you thanks for your guidance and your protection, for taking us to this place safely. We are asking you, Lord, to take full control of this procedure this evening. I pray that you will comfort the family, and I pray, God, that you will intervene for us. Please to hold back the showers of rain that we can be able to put our loved ones to sleep. Please to take over now. And what we fail of asking you, fail not to grant it. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Amen. The word of God is expressed even at this time. Really want to express condolence to the family member. It's an unusual time that we are living in. We are only able to facilitate burial these days than funeral, the real funeral service. It's painful and regrettable. This is the time in which we live. And the time in which we live should inform us as to how sober we are based on where this earth and world is heading. I want to share with you a word from the book of 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 8. To nine where the Apostle Paul have lived his life and having lived and worked for the church for the Lord I want to believe that he is he was not presumptuous he was very very confident in his statement he said that for I am already being poured out as a drink as drink offering and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day. And not to me only, but also to all who have loved his appearing. I use this passage of scripture to remind us that all of us, this funeral service will remind us too that life is fragile. Life for us is no guarantee on this earth. And the point is salient. Here is a man who had lived his life and when he made all the conclusion of everything, he was able to bravely and with conviction say, that there is indeed a crown of righteousness awaits him after he would have laid down the cares of this life as Andre has done. What is beyond this? Can you say, even at this very critical moment, you're standing among the living, can you say it is well with your soul? If the Lord should take you now, is there a crown of righteousness awaiting you when he shall return? And so, the question is germane. The question is always relevant. How are we living? How are you living? Are you counting the cost of life? Since death is not a friend of anyone, that will give us favor. When it's time for us to go, we've got to go. But I'm so happy that among the Christian community, there is hope. There is hope in King Jesus, hope beyond the grave. There is hope for those who live for Christ in this life. And just like the apostle, with confidence, who knew that his time was coming, all of us are being poured out now. Ah, uh, you have drank, drink that tastes very delicious, nice. Sweet, nice flavor. And sometimes you'd wish it would never end, but your desire for the drink, you just drink it to the very last bit. Some of us are half glass at this time. Some are at the quarter, some are just at the very bottom. But we are being poured out. But can you with confidence say, I have fought a good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. 
Henceforth there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give to me on that day. And not to me only, but also to all those who have loved his appearing. I trust that the death of one that you love, Andre, was brought us right here at this spot to celebrate his life, but to lay his remain at this spot. Then we return to our homes to do what we do best, to live, take care of the activities of life. In all of your living and doing, make sure that you have counted the costs, that you call it an election is sure, so that like the Apostle Paul, with confidence you can say, it is well with my soul. I trust the family will have confidence and assurance having put your hands in God's hand, knowing that this is not the end. There is coming a day when the dead in Christ will rise. This is hope, and I look for that day with great anticipation. And as I look, I ensure that I am walking as he wants me to walk, so that when death calls, I can say, it is well with my soul. What about you? May he rest peacefully until the day of the resurrection. Let's pray, eternal God. I pray, loving Lord, that you'll comfort the family, be near and dear to them, and make them know that in the midst of all the turmoil, in the midst of all the storm, there is a God who can give us rest in the eye of the storm. Bless your people and keep us in the hall of your hand. For Christ's sake. Amen. 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 All right. I'm hoping now I can get some response from Robert Green. Still no? I can get response from Stashana Johnson. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, scripture reading will be taken from 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 13 to 18. I read in your hearing. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of, trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. When we which are alive and remain, remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. 18 and last. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. Here endeth the reading of God's holy words. Amen. 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 Uh, Jason McKenzie. Yes, Pastor. You could go ahead with the usual, usual you know. Members of the clergy, members of the family, um, all persons here gathered, good afternoon to you. The month of October is quite an interesting one. The reasons are diverse and complex. Varying from person to person, event to event, and country to country. In Germany, there's a major festival called Oktoberfest. This is the world's largest beer festival and traveling fun fair. Um, colleagues, persons gathered, there are persons who would want to hear this, so I ask that you just at the moment and be respectful and remain quiet thank you so i was talking about the month of october and i'm saying that in germany there's a major festival called oktoberfest this is the world's largest beer festival and traveling fun fair it is held annually in munich germany over a period of 16 to 80 days running from mid or late september to the first sunday in october with more than 6 million people from around the world attending the event every year. When I was growing up, 
October was known for very rainy days. These days were special. Not just because you got to stay home from school, but because you will be blessed with lots of hot chocolate tea served in an enamel mug with a piece of cornmeal pudding in tow. The month of October is credited with the start of the space age as the Russians launched the first satellite into orbit. It was in the month of October that US President Abraham Lincoln, we have lots of persons from the US with us here, issued a proclamation designating the last Thursday in November as Thanksgiving Day. Many persons here are looking forward to Thanksgiving. It was in the month of October, the year 1517, when Martin Luther nailed his 95 Thesis to the church door at Wittenberg, Germany, triggering the Protestant Reformation. And the pastors here, gathered and the elders, understand this very well. It was in the month of October, Infinite, more eternal than the ocean in the expression of the eyes of a little baby when it wakes in the morning and cools or laughs because it sees the sun shining on its cradle, end of quote. More eternal than the ocean, beyond three score and ten, a life to be lived until the complexities of old age. This is a dream of every parent for his or her child as he or she is ushered into this uncertain world. That is a true friend. And for me, that is a true definition of a friend. Once your friend can look at you and tell you that, hey, what you are doing is wrong, and he won't hold back and tell you that, you know, because me and your friend, me now I'm gonna tell you, say, yo, you're wrong. Once him can look on you and tell you, say, yo, you're wrong, and your real friend that. LV is the type of person where in which he would offer his assistance no matter how you're down and depressed, LV is the type of person that would call you and put a smile on your face. Now I'm going to stay too long because words can't really explain or express what LV means. I cannot speak for anyone else. I can only speak for myself. When I met LV in 2003, like my life to not turn for the better because that's the type of person he is. He's just a wonderful person. He's just a good person. We would often time joke and say, yo, when we get old enough, I go slung for a bar and then me, you and Dean. And we have a talk and I say, hey, I remember when I got at school and we usually did this and we usually did that. And he would often say in the dam, when the dam is quiet, he would often say, Hey, how oh everybody asleep? My tights are squeeze me. <laughs> and I say, Elvi, you know nothing for do? Yeah, no. Because I was alone just asleep like when I did. But as I said before, LV is just that type of person, it's just a vibes person. And it feel a way if you know, say, you stand up over. But just like, yeah. just like, bless it. Let's rock on, my brother. Let's rock on. Bless it, Lord. Amen. Amen. He always encourage us. He's always there. He's a fan of Vibes Cartel. If Andre Elvi is broken or going through stress, he always said, Vibes Cartel is the right artist to listen. Even on his deathbed, he told me that he needed some more Vibes Cartel songs. Don't Uncle Ben make him. He's always there, you know, and to see I'm right here standing and saying goodbye for the last time. It's such difficult to do that right now, but Rasan Andre Elvi.
I will forever make you proud. Bless the love, my Good. Okay, um, Marcia Powell. Marcia. Pastors, family members, and friends, good evening. I stand here this evening before you on such sad occasion. Um, my name is Marcia Powell, as you have heard. I'm Andre's godmother. And um, it came about when 1984, when Sister Norma was pregnant, I was pregnant with my first child. And Kenny was born in September, Andre was born in October. And I became his godmother. I left him at a young age, but we stayed in touch. And I heard it was said before how well-mannered he was. He was a humble human being. The last time I saw him was in August, late August. I went and visited him, my husband and I, we prayed with him. And I always encourage Andre to make sure that he holds on to God's unchanging hand, because I know he grew up in the church. And I heard that I went back to New York in September and I thought I would have came back and saw him, but I didn't. And so this evening, I, I don't mourn as one without hope because I believe with the encouragement and the prayers that went up for Andre, that Andre's soul has found a resting place. And so this evening is not so much about Andre now as he's laying to, as he's about to lay to rest, but it's about us who is alive. Let us live the life, people, so that when God comes, we may able to hear that word, well done, thy good and faithful servant, and we'll see Andre again. So again, as I said, Sister Norma, to the extended family, let's not weep as one without hope. And whatever God does, he does it well. Thank you. Amen. When the road is long and heavy, when it's dark and dark, and see clearly, I will lift my eyes to the hills from whence my help comes. My help comes from you. Lead me, oh, lead me, oh, lead me to where I've never been before, a place I've never seen. When I come to the end of myself, Father, carry me, Father, carry me. When I come to the end of myself, Father, carry me.
The one who made heaven and earth You're mighty You're stronger than any other One thing that I desire of you And I may dwell here with you forever I'm chasing no other When I come to the end of myself When I come to the end of myself